case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2004 case People v. Yaskovich, the Colorado Supreme Court examined the requirements for a conviction of tampering with a witness or victim under certain sections of the state's tampering statute. Daniel P. Yaskovich was initially convicted of tampering with a victim or witness by criminal solicitation, but appealed the decision. The Court of Appeals reversed the conviction, stating that the statute requires proof that the victim or witness was legally summoned to a proceeding. The Supreme Court then had to determine whether the tampering statute requires a victim or witness to be legally summoned, and, if so, what constitutes being legally summoned. The court ruled that for a defendant to be prosecuted under Section 188707-1b of the statute, the witness must be under obligation to the court to appear and testify. However, this obligation is not limited to being subpoenaed or subject to a legal process. Since there was no evidence to show that the victim in Yaskovich's case was legally summoned, the court decided that he was not guilty of tampering under subsection 1 b. As a result, his conviction for tampering by criminal solicitation was vacated. This ruling clarified the requirements for convicting someone of tampering with a witness or victim under different sections of the Colorado Tampering Statute. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 